Hello everyone, my name is Adam Ripples Vox, and welcome back to the final part of my Epifan Pearl tutorial series. In this episode, we're covering advanced streaming configurations to set up a live stream layout for Twitch or YouTube gaming or something like that, involving overlay graphics, a face cam or secondary camera angle, and things like that, as well as how to use a Chrome extension to preview your video files just a little bit before you download them. Not, in not incredibly useful, but something handy I ran into. So first and foremost, of course, we do want to be on the page of the Pearls configuration. If we're not on there, we're not doing anything useful. And you want your HDMI or whatever input inputs to be active. So I'm going to turn on my camcorder and Xbox here. And to set up a layout, because we've already done default layouts in our channels for the Xbox One and our camcorder in the previous videos. But to set up a custom layout, we're going to make a separate channel. We're going to call this xb1 twitch and we're going to add a new layout sometimes the name doesn't stick and it just made two layouts because i clicked it twice that's okay so we're on layout three we're going to call this face cam so this is going to work similar to obs so we're going to call this one face cam overlay we're going to call this one just xbox so we're going to make a few these are like the scenes within obs so we've got different scenes. So I'm going to add a couple different ones and I'm going to show you what they're used for. Just XB1, just face cam, and then BRB for a BRB screen. And this is going to, like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. This runs so similarly to the OBS layouts. So for our BRB screen, this is an image that's going to pop up when we're away from the stream, when we're going to be right back. And so we're going to add a new item. Item? We're going to add a new item. We're going to add a new item, and it's going to be a picture. And we have to select a picture. Oh, but wait, there are no pictures. Why is that? Because we haven't uploaded any yet. We haven't uploaded any assets. So to do so, we go over here to Branding Content under Configuration. Now, as far as I can tell, it does not like Photoshop files, which is unfortunate because I've uploaded a few, and it doesn't really know what to do with them. So you're going to need transparent.png files for your overlay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm real quick going to open up a few video files or a few files that I wanted to work with and save them as transparent PNGs. And then I will be right back to import them. Okay, so the files I'm going to add, the first one here is a watermark of just my gaming channel logo. I put that watermark on some of my gaming videos. And the second one is actually a face cam layout for something like Twitch or videos. And I'm going to use that as well for this tutorial. And then you can make specific templates, but we're not going to mess with that functionality because we can do it here in our XB1 Twitch channel. So, if we, oh, and we also want to upload, go back to branding content. We want to upload our BRB screen. And that one can be a JPEG as well because it doesn't need to be transparent because it takes up the whole screen. That one I had saved separately, I believe under channel projects, uh, Twitch. We have a brbscreen.jpg. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go to our channel and go to... Uh, where are we going to go to? Sources. Duh. And then we have our layouts. And we have a brb layout. And for that, we're going to add new picture. Please select a picture. Brb screen. Boom. And drag that. Take up the whole screen. Click save or we could add in let's say analog a and b audio let's say that would be our music input we're routing music into it separately that way it plays music while it's streaming that image that is our brb screen we told it to save okay then we go up here to just face cam and that is going to be add new item video source that video source why is it saying text settings we don't want text we want video source there we go we want HDMI B, which is our camcorder. That is just our face cam. So that is just going to take up the whole screen and, and it's going to have HDMI B audio because that is the audio coming from the face cam. And let's say we may want analog A audio too for the music. Then we'll click, say, click save. So now we have a just face cam layout, a BRB screen layout. I do not want it to automatically turn off. Stop that. And then now we're going to set up a face cam overlay layout. So we're going to add new item. It's going to be video source. And this is going to be our HDMI A, which is our Xbox One. We do want that audio. We also want the HDMI B audio from our camcorder and our analog audio. 
And then we're going to add a new item, picture. It's going to be our webcam overlay, tech. And you can see it is very small on here, so we're going to make it bigger. There we go. And we're going to add new item, video source, and that's going to be HDMI B. And we actually need that HDMI B to be below the webcam. There we go. Then choose HDMI B. HDMI B. Nope. HDMI B. We're going to make it smaller. And we're going to move it over here to be underneath the webcam overlay. Now, something you're going to run into is that it's going to be hard to manually adjust this here as the snap controls are a little funky. I believe we can uncheck the snap. I don't know what that just did. Never mind. But you can drag in and see it has kind of preset sizes that it wants to use. But if we say like 10%, that's not what we want. We want uh, 3%. There we go. 3.5%. Uh, no. So you're going to want to be generous with your layouts because of a tiny precise one like this isn't going to work well. But that's the general idea is our face cam would be in this box or in this corner. Then we have the image overlay in there. And then if we wanted to add it, we could also add, I, I did not see the gaming layout. I think that was too, too big of a logo. So we're instead going to, let me find another one. There's a couple. Okay, let me go back to, let me save this. And then we'll go back to branding content. Let me just make sure that's saved. And then lastly, you can add something, you can add some text. And so if we click add new item text, then you can, for example, here it automatically put channel date time which is those are the codes for date and time so if you were doing like a dvr kind of layout then you could put it down here at the bottom and have that overlaid and then click save and then we're going to make a new recorder for that channel so we're going to go to recorders add recorder we're going to call this twitch click enter or hit enter uh, we're going to change our settings back here mp4 twitch underscore 64 gigs, one hour, apply, except it's set to all channels. We're going to change that and just have it record Xbox One, Twitch, apply. And then if we hit record, then we can live switch between the, between the sources over on our touch screen and have a very interactive live stream going. So I do hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. For the other tutorials, check the playlist link in the description below. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. I hope this video helped you set up your live stream for your game console and your camcorder and things like that. And thanks to Epifan for sending me this Pearl unit out for review and tutorials. I've taken a very long time to get these tutorials up, but oh well. I've, I've been quite busy and they were tutorials I really wanted to make. So I'll catch you later.